This video is to help you uh, complete the homework investigation plan. Let's do uh, problem number four for lesson 5.05. .05. Find the area of each shaded region, right? So I know you're, um, because of the, it doesn't print out very clearly, but these are the shaded area, right? So the first one here, you know how to find the area of this circle, right? But this part, shaded part, is just a fraction of it, right? So is it a half of it? Or is it a quarter of it? Or what fraction of it? This 60 degrees will, it, are, are the hits. So this 60 degrees should tell you that the shaded area, uh, what fraction of that shaded area is. For part B, in order to find the shaded area, you should see two circles, which is the big one with the radius 6 and the smaller one, which is the um, radius 4. So what can you do to these two, uh, these two circles to find out the shaded area right here? Do you see that if you find the area of this big circle, then find the area of the small circle, do something about it, uh, add, subtract, multiply, divide, whatever, uh, so that you get this shaded area. Uh, let's do number, let's look at number six. It says a canister contains three tennis balls each with the diameter of 2.5 inches. Which distance do you think is greater? The height of the canister or the circumference of the canister? Guess the answer and then do the, the calculation to see if your guess is correct. So what do you think? So let's draw the figure so that we can see it better. A canister, which is something like this, contains Right? Three tennis ball. I have green. Right? One, two, and three. You know what I mean, right? Um, diameter is 2.5. So from here to here is 2.5. Or, or from here to here is 2.5. Right? So, so you can see that, actually, if you draw it this way, right, you would know that's the, the three diameters of the tennis balls. If you add them, add them up, that's going to be the height of this canister, right? And you compare that number to the circumference of this canister. Which one is bigger? Guess first and write the guess first right and then do the calculation in order to find the canister uh, the circumference of this circle uh, we have to do uh, circumference equals 2 times pi times radius uh, we, where diameter is 2.5 so the radius is half of 2.5 so get that number multiply by 2 and give and multiply by 3.14 that number, whatever the number, you compare it to the height of this canister and you tell which one's higher by what, okay? Which one's higher, which one's greater by what? So that's 5.6. Um, let's look at number 8. For lesson 5.07, it says, determine the measure of central angle in radians and degrees for each proportion of a circle. Okay, so the radians uh, is 2 pi, right? So, so if you go around the circle, that's 360 degrees, right? For the radians, it is 2 pi. Okay, because if you think about the circle with radius 1, 
right? What is the circumference? Circumference equals 2 times pi times r. If r is 1, then we have 2 pi. That's where this 2 pi come from, okay? What if we have a semicircle? How many degrees is that? It's half of it, so that's 180 degrees, right? Which should be a half of 2 pi, which is 1 pi. We usually, usually write pi. How about the half of 180? Right? What is the half of 180 degrees? That's 90 degrees. How about the radian? Half of pi. Does that make sense? And so on and so forth. So what's the half of uh, 90 degrees? Right? It's 45 degrees. That should be half of ha half of pi pi halves. That should be pi fourth. How about 30 degrees? Well, how many 30 degrees do you need to have uh, for 360 degrees? It's 12 of them, right? You need a 12, 30 degrees to be 360 degrees, right? What if 360 is 2 pi? What would that be? 12 times some number, some degrees k, should be equal to 2 pi. So k should be equal to 2 pi divided by 12, and I'm dividing 12 to both sides. 2 and 12 is the multiple of 2. Oops, sorry. So we can divide both sides by both top and bottom by 2, so we should have pi over 6. So that's pi over 6. Use that information to do number 4, I mean number 8a. So uh, let's do 8a. It says one third of circle. How many degrees is that? Well, full circle is 360. What's one third of 360? Degrees. That's 120 degrees, right? How about one third of 2 pi in radian? Well, that is 2 pi over 3 radian. Okay, so that's problem number 8a. So do do this as a use this as a hint to to do the rest of the problem.